All right, so this morning, I figured out that you can take the fonts and extrude them a tiny bit, and then use a little bit of math to fake shade them. So these have no shading on them, neither do these cubes. What's actually going on is we're taking the dot product of the normal in world space and the camera view and doing a bit of math to it and this is what's making the shading I could skip this and go directly right here and this would just do shadows but right now I'm also doing some gradient stuff that makes it kind of look metallic you'll notice so there's like a little bit of a gradient on the surface of the um, textures it's not just flat white it actually like you notice here there's like some glinting and that's actually from that math I did the cosine I mean the sine of the dot product times like 33 I think 16 and then we do absolute and then multiply that by the dot product so this adds the shadows back in and then I added 0.1 to make it so that it's a little bit brighter And then that's also based on object color. So we could take this UI element and be like, you are blue. So yeah, that is a UI that looks a little bit more modern. All right. All right, and then I'll show you what it can do briefly here. So right now we have sculpt up and average, the radius is one and the strength is one. So I'll go ahead and ruin this real quick. All right, and then I'm gonna set my radius up to a higher number so my average works better and crank my strength down. I could smooth this out and leave like kind of a little bumpy ridge along the middle because I'm moving fast enough that it will. If I move really slow, it will get rid of the bumpy ridge even. There we go. Tools. And then we can make like a bigger hill. And average that out. And that's a little flat spot right here. It'd be pretty easy to make a golf course with this thing. And then I don't have fly around mode, but I'll do that next, where we move the center of the camera pivot. But yeah, this is the tool so far. And then it's set up so I can keep on adding tools. We have sculpt up, sculpt down, and average right now. And what those are, are functions. In my terrain editor. So here's average, sculpt up, sculpt down. And we build like a little dictionary of the tools that are possible to use, and a list, and that's what's used for the UI up here. Okay, thanks for watching.